Ruben E. has made a long trip to be with us today, and uh, it's quite an honor to have him here. Um, uh, I met Adam at the very first JSIG conference in 1999, and since we both went to almost all of them, I knew him for a long time. And Adam is a core, I'm going to start the slide here. Adam is a core member of this community, and a Perio would definitely not be what it is today without, without his contributions. So we, we're here to recognize those contributions. About two years ago, a little more than two years ago, um, when Adam was still very much contributing to the organization, uh, he was in a terrible bicycle accident. And, um, and so we, he hasn't been contributing recently, but, uh, but still we build every day on what he's done. Uh, Adam's programming career began at Xerox in 1988, uh, working on a user interface toolkit for a high volume laser printing system. You can see the Sakai folks are probably thinking, huh? But the JC people are, they get it. <laughs> In 1993, Adam became a self-employed consultant specializing in developing user interfaces for Windows in C and C++. And in 1996, and I remember this too, uh, with a partner, Tony Holdreth, Adam co-founded IBS. Um, and at the time, I was I had a job of development group at Princeton, and we knew both of them because they were working in Java. Um, they were specialized in consulting on Java programming projects in higher ed. And in 1999, when we started JSIG, IBS and Sun Microsystems were the corporate founding members of JSIG, and both those organizations gave us huge support. When IBS merged with Unicom in 2003, Adam became Unicom's Vice President of Technology for CTO. Here are a couple of quotes from Adam. My first experience with open source was in 1992. When I got an early copy of Linux, it was version 0.82. So for those of us who have had wonderful frustrations with 1M software, can you imagine having less than 1M software? Uh, it was rough to say the least. And most of the software for Linux was available only as source, and you had to build it yourself. The first day I had to buy a new C compiler, with a new C compiler, and that was fun. I'm not sure if all of us think that was fun. And I will say, just from my personal experience when I first met Adam, he was totally intimidating because he was so smart. <laughs> but um, once you got to know him, he was really warm and caring and a wonderful person to know, although very, very smart. <laughs> um, he's been a contributing community member since the very beginning, attended every JC conference for over 10 years. And that's a lot because we used to have conferences twice a year giving countless presentations and seminars on the portal past. I don't think we've had a conference where Adam wasn't one of the major presenters and helped facilitate contributions for numerous Unicom clients. So uh, we just want to recognize Adam and recognize the contribution. And for those of you who have been involved in this community as long as I have, um, you might want to just give me the best. Thank you. Okay, we're ready to start the 
Open Networking Cafe, so choose your first topic. Right. And there has been already one write-in.